Alright guys, we are here and we made it to Murwood's National Monument. Pretty cool, huh? Yeah. Come on, baby. Ooh, we made it here. It's pretty cool. The weather is great in here. It's Wow, what does it feel like to you? Like low 60s? Yeah, it feels like low 60s. I would 60s. say like 63, maybe? It feels good. It smells good, like that fresh nature smell. Fresh, clean air? Yeah, very rare in California. Yeah. Hey, look at all these trees. Look at the trees. They're freaking tall, bro. They're freaking tall. Oh, yeah, like look at it over there. Take a picture right there. Yeah, it looks so pretty out there. So, so pretty. Watch your stand over there, I'll take a picture of you guys. Okay, let's get on this bridge. Get on the bridge. It's pretty cool. Bumpy stuff on it. It's got warts, and that's why you always stay clean. <laughs> the more you know. Look how green it is out there. Looks like a set from a movie. I know. It looks like you'd find Bambi out there. Bambi, or like a vampire from Twilight. <laughs> you better hold on tight, spider monkey. So there was a tree stump that was cut open that shows you the age of the tree. And they were really like extremely wide, dating back to like 903 AD. Um, it's crazy. Be some old trees. Yep, some old ass trees. <laughs> Yo, this, look at this tree coming up here. This thing is massive. Huge. Jumongous. Can't believe it. And it's still going up. Dang, Haley's right there. And look how tall it still goes. You can't even barely. Barely, barely see it. The tip top. So big it splits into two. Oh, this one right here? Yeah, it's huge. Guys, look how it's thick. So thick it had a split. That's crazy. It's like unreal how fat these trees are. Pretty crazy. Pretty cool, huh? Very cool. Tall. Guys, this tree is ultra big. Ultra thick. It is huge. You know what? Let me get right next to it. So you, guys, you guys see just how massive, massive this tree is. It's about eight feet away from me. It's thick. Thickums. Big ass boy. Right. Here is one of the trails, trail maps. This one in specific is a canopy view trail. But yeah, here is the map. Yeah, we ended up on the Sun Trail the last time I was here, and it kind of sucked. Guys, if I had this in 60 FPS, this will look just absolutely stunning. Pro tip, guys. If, you're, if you are a national park goer, go and buy your annual pass, annual national park pass. It will save your life. It is good for, of course, all national parks, but you and three other adults get to go in for free. 
so saves you a lot of money. It's only $80 a year. I love these open views. I mean, you just get to actually admire how tall the trees are in these big open spaces. Look at that. Look at the sun beaming through the trees. That is absolutely beautiful. You can keep going. <laughs> that is absolutely beautiful. Watching the sun beam through the trees. Pro tip, I also bought extra batteries for my camera. Uh, for the longest time, I've only been running off of one battery and I'd have to charge it in between um, pauses. But now that I got two extra batteries, no more pausing, I can get all the footage I want. So this park is named after John Muir? Yes. Oh. Okay, that's cool. He basically just wanted to find a quiet place. The sign said to uh, enter quietly, but everyone coming out was so freaking loud. So loud. <laughs> you can see the inside of the tree right here. Looks like a crack all the way up. That's so cool. Oh, yeah. A big open hollow tree. Check the sound dampening too. I can just hear our voice. Pretty good, huh? Yeah. Wow. You allergy medicine? No. <laughs> so it's not these redwoods um, that they filmed Jurassic Park 2 in. It's uh, up north, more north, the uh, other redwoods. Now they film scenes for Jurassic Park 2 during the uh, Stegosaurus stuff. But this stuff right here, like these, this river stuff, it looks just like that scene in that area where they uh, go and find the baby Stegosaurus and stuff like that. Oh, yeah. Uh, Ian Malcolm, a.k.a. Yeah. Jeff Goldblum. Baby Stegosaurus. <laughs> The tree looks like it has warts. Ew. <laughs> the troll is there. <laughs> <laughs> Dang, dude, these trees are freaking tall. How tall are they? They're like... That's... That's like... That's like 200, 300 feet tall. I would say that's probably a 200 foot tall tree, huh? Do you think this was like a natural pathway? Or do you think they had to like carve through any trees. Uh, I think they had to carve through some trees because I do see some trees on the ground. Just <laughs> like that. It fell over. Or fell, fell over. over. <laughs> <laughs> they built this bridge essentially throughout the whole entire uh, park. So it just got me curious thinking if they... I'm sure there was probably like some natural path here but I feel like, you know, they probably did do a little bit of trimming to make it so perfect. Gotcha. Yeah. It's freaking green though. That's all I can say. It's gorgeous. Green! Right here, just a nice, very open view of this tree. Well, multiple trees, but that tree in particular. That's crazy. Did it fall over? I think so. Dang. That is nuts. It'd be funny. Yeah, look at that sun. Oh, oh, a brightness. That's awesome. Hey, Lay. <laughs> Pretty. You can see how the nice glistening sun in the water. 
This area right here reminds me exactly where the guy gets eaten by the compies in Jurassic Park 2. And behind over there is where he goes behind and you just see the blood flowing. I don't know if you guys can see it, but can you see the sun rays beaming through? It looks better in person than on camera, but oh, so freaking cool. I love it. Hey, look, I found Shrek's home. Shrek lives in there. Shrek lives in there. Just kidding, guys. That's a tree that fell over, and that's just what's under it. You can see, like, there's the base of the tree, and it goes up. And it goes all the way up here. That's how big that dang tree is. And that's like, that's like oh, over 100 feet away. Here's a better view of the falling down tree. Well, falling down tree, huh? <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> Conspiracy? <laughs> now, this is the tough part where we go incline for days we're gonna build our trail. calf muscles let's do it get meaty calves it has been t minus like it's only 30 been, seconds it's only been 30 seconds and already heavy breathing yeah it's tough the burn is real <laughs> Alright, one, two, three. <laughs> okay, baby, it is time to walk through the tramp's legs. Oh, I am a new man. How do you feel walking through the tramp's legs? Like a whole new woman. <laughs> <laughs> there, did I get it all? <laughs> she has a dusty butt because we were sitting down. Ugh. I have a dusty butt right now because I'm sitting down. No fish. <gasps> when someone touches my neck. <laughs> <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> Mom, hurry up. You're so far behind, Mama. Yeah. <laughs> right, this is a pretty cool pathway right here, though. Whoa. Watch your step. Yeah, there's a lot of roots sticking out of the, uh, the pathway. Alright, so I've been trying to make this video for the longest time. But I got a new microphone, and uh, I'm wondering how you guys like it. It's the Sony ECM B1M. Uh, I have one complaint so far, and really it's just the one, is that within high wind, even a little bit of wind, like it's not even that bad of wind, um, you hear the wind, even with the deck hat on, like. I wasn't as impressed as I thought it would be. Um, but that's my only complaint. Other than that, I think this microphone is magnificent. You know, it's wireless and don't have to worry about any cables. What else? Um, the sound is great. But, yeah. Just when it came to wind, I was not impressed. But everything is on auto and the way it came. I mess between noise canceling and low cut. I think I like low cut a little more than noise canceling, but I'm not sure. So if you're an expert, please let me know the best settings for the Sony ECM B1M. Also, right when I ordered this, of course they drop a new microphone, the Sony ECM M1. Always happens to me. Kind of annoyed me, but you know, whatever. Um, I'm sticking to this microphone because one, oh, I paid good money for it. Two, I think it sounds good. So, wait a minute, is this where they filmed 
Return of the Jedi with the Ewoks? Yes. <laughs> I think they also went to the... Uh, the bigger one. The bigger one uh, in North California, Redwoods. But it same, looks exactly like style. that. Yeah. Especially when you play... Especially when you play Ewok Hunt in Battlefront 2. You're literally like... In this forest. You're in this forest, running through the trees. <laughs> and the... And the you know, running on the ground too. I love. I love okay? Battlefront too. <laughs> oh my God, it's these stupid roots. You're in there? Yeah, these dang freaking roots in the ground. They're hazards. The forest is not a place for a vlogger. Not at all. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta pay attention to the ground, or you're gonna trip, fall, and die off this ledge. Honestly. <laughs> so stupid. <laughs> What's crazy is like it looks blue in the camera, but it also looks like very blue in real life. Like yeah. I'm not adding any blue hue to the camera. It's just naturally like this Watch out. this green blue hue. It's pretty cool. Okay, so we are almost <laughs> we're Sorry. almost to the end of our hiking trail. Root. Root. Oh. No. I That's root in the <laughs> on the ground. <laughs> But uh, what do you think so far? I am loving it. Like, beautiful, first of all. These trees are huge. Um, very much like a, you need to experience it once in your life. Like, definitely check it out. I love the fresh air, the smell. It smells so wonderful. Like, I'm having a great time. The multi-level trail that we're on. Like, we started down there, now we're up here. It's cool. I really, really love yeah. it. And they really do have different trails that take you on top of the uh, mountain and you're just in these open, this open field that the sun just hits. It gets hot up there obviously, but. Yeah, we took yeah. like what, the main, like we took the, the absolute main, main trail? The main and shortest trail. This is a nice bend over here. <laughs> <laughs> Mama and auntie taking pictures. What's your opinion? Like, how are you enjoying it? My opinion? My opinion is that I really love this forest fond memories but also just I like how cool it is in terms of temperature you know it's like between like 60 degrees and probably no more than 65 yeah no but the temps feel absolutely amazing you know you can wear your sweater or you can wear a t-shirt yeah you feel a nice cool breeze the sun isn't powerful you're not sweating yeah. um, but I love it I really do want to visit the the true redwood forest for yeah. sure but yeah. this is really close second so i feel like you still get the what's it called like that that whole atmospheric idea of the real redwood you don't have to go to the middle of like nowhere california like this is just right outside of san francisco yeah that is very true yeah but. however i will love to one day make the trip out to the real redwood me too that is on my next bucket, bucket list. list check off. <sighs> okay. I have noise canceling on right now. I don't know if it sounds any different than uh, what it did before, but. Haley's taller than me when we sit. <laughs> <laughs> I like the green, brown, reddish color this forest has. Yeah. It's very like appealing to the eye and it's very soothing mm -hmm. calm yes and like with that naturey like fresh smell it's just instant relaxation all right now we're in the gift shop you can get yourself a walking stick get some nice sweaters of the merwoods pretty cool pretty nice get yourself some hats i like these patches and stickers Cool. <laughs> I like this one. Black, brown, gummy. That's nice. Oh, this one's really cool. I like this stuff. This one's very cute. California Merwoods. Bears hugging California. Isn't this one cute? Yeah. I hate that it's only extra large, but it's so cute. I like those ones too. This is Merwood and it has all the trees on it. Right there. 
This one's really cool. Yeah, all these fridge magnets are pretty cool. See, these are cool, but the ones that actually say like California, there aren't. They're not, they're not cool. All the ones that I like don't say California. All right, guys, that was our time at the Murr Woods National Monument Park. It's just right outside San Francisco, so if you have time to check it out, I would say do so. So if you enjoyed our video, please give a like, comment, and subscribe if you wish. And with that, we'll catch you guys in the next cozy experience. Peace!